So hey guys and welcome back to another HUD Maker tutorial. As you saw last episode we created this HUD right here where we have our animated name, our rotating background magic circle, and of course our slightly tilted HUD Maker, you know, gauge thingy chilling out right there. Anyway, in this episode we'll be going over how to make a proper battle HUD. Now this can get a little difficult, so I'll be stepping this through very slowly, and in fact this won't be much of a, you know, typical episode where I jump cut everything and so I'm just gonna slowly and carefully make a battle HUD in front of you guys. So let's get straight into things. As you saw I used the menu editor to remove that battle status window and now I can go into HUD maker to start editing our HUD. So to start let's make it very very simple. We'll just add an actor face like this right here. Create new one for that actor face right about... I guess right about here looks good. Oh, yep, there we go. Cool. Next, we'll add their name, so we'll add a text. We'll make it so it's aligned in the center, right there. And then, of course, set the evaluation to be game lead, game party dot leader dot name, just like that. Close that off and be ready to go, just like that. Of course, once again, we'll throw this to maybe a layer higher than that. Refresh, and then just place it on top like that. In fact, we'll make it so it's gonna be snap type relative, so it does that exactly perfectly. And then finally, we'll add an HP gauge. So we'll just throw a gauge right here, create new gauge. We'll make it so it's gonna be a little bit skinnier, so maybe like 24, just like that, and that should be good. We'll throw it down right here once again. We'll put it on top, so make a layer of three, and then we'll just place it right here, and bam, that should be good. And while we're at it, let's also make a text. So once again, text, create new. We'll call it HP like this. We'll set so it's gonna be game party dot leader dot HP like that. Then a forward slash, they're going to take our evaluation and do the same thing again. So game party dot leader dot MHP. So bam, refresh, and then we'll make it a little bit smaller. So maybe make font size 20, refresh, and then throw it on top. So we'll make the layer like six, refresh, and then whoa, bam, just like that. So now we have a very, 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 very simple battle HUD. But now you're probably asking, okay, cool, I have it for the leader. But how do we do it for all the other party members and make it so it doesn't crash when the party members don't exist? And the answer is quite simple. So let's start by replicating another HUD. So we'll go to our actor face, create a brand new one, place it right next to this one, make another text, we'll throw it right here. So in fact, instead of doing it this way, let's clone them. So we'll go to our text like this, clone it, we'll put it right here. We'll go to our gauge, clone it, we'll throw it right here. We'll go to our actor or text right here, clone it, and then throw it right here. Well, this time, we'll do this for our second actor right here, or the second person at our party. So to do so, instead of writing gameparty.leader, we'll instead write gameparty.members sub1, just like that. Now when we hit refresh, as you see right here, it's gonna follow the name of our second person, Cius, just like that. Now, before we do anything, we also make sure, hey, if we don't have a second person in our party, this thing shouldn't exist. So to do so, we'll take this entire evaluation right here, game party member sub one, just like this, and turn it into our condition, just like that. Meaning, if this doesn't exist, or in other words, our second party member does not exist, this piece will not exist. So we'll hit refresh, and that should be good to go. So we'll copy this, we'll go to our gauge, just like this, we'll set it to, of course, instead of the game party leader, game party dot member sub one, game party member sub one, and then of course, we'll set it to our condition, just like that, to make it go for our CS person, just like this. Same thing is going to occur for our text, but once again, it's gonna be a little repetitive, but hopefully you can step through with me, so, game party dot member sub one, game party dot member sub one, then condition, just like that, and then finally for the face right here, we'll do instead of game party dot leader dot actor ID, game party dot member sub one, actor ID, plus of course, the condition, just like that. Now as you can see, when these actors take damage from all these slimes right here, so the slime will hit maybe one of them like that, that individual actor will take damage and have it seen in our little HUD just like that. So let's go and replicate this for all of our actors. So it's gonna be a little bit tedious, but hopefully you can set, you know, just, just bear with me. So of course we'll make another face. In fact, we'll clone it off the other one. So we'll make it, of course, relative. We'll select our second actor face like this, clone it, place it right there about. We'll go to our second text, clone it, or yeah, put it right there. Go to our second, you know, uh, gauge, clone it, and throw it right there. And then, of course, we're going to go to our second um, text like this, and then clone it, throw it right there. And then, of course, whenever we see one, we're going to switch it to a two. So two, two, refresh. We're going to go to our gauge. It's going to, of course, going to be two, 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 refresh. We're going to go to our, you know, our text right here and do two. We're going to go right, whoa, right about here. 
We're going to do a two right there. And, of course, a two right there. Refresh. That's going to be good. We're going to go to our actor face. Put a two right here. Put a two right here. Then refresh. So it's going to be that guy's face. And now we have everything set up for our third actor within our party just like that. So hopefully after a bit of tinkering, you can create four faces for all four of your potential actors. So now we can attack our enemies just like this. And now, of course, it'll, you'll see the changes in our HUD just like that. So yeah, it's a little messy. I didn't put much time into it. But if you do put a lot of time and effort to make things look just right, things can be pretty beautiful. Of course, now if we go and remove some people like this, so we'll remove some members and then go back to the battle just like this, as you can see, those members will just not be there. Instead, just be our leader and our other person. And then and then we can, we can do stuff. Yeah, awesome. So yeah. And that is about it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, or if you want a copy of the HUD I just created, I'll have it linked in the description of this video if I remember. I'm probably not going to remember. Someone, someone comment and remind me that I have to do that. But yeah, so um, that's, that's, that's that. Until next time, yeah.